Hi, I'm Andrew Blythe from Body and Spine Solutions. Today I'm going to talk you through a stretch that's really important for anyone who sits, rides, or even runs a lot, and that's a hip flexor stretch. Now when you're sitting, your hips are flexed forward and this muscle is shortened. When you're running and you're bringing the knee through, you'll actually be using these muscles. And when you're cycling and the leg is pumping up and down like that, every time you draw upwards, you're going to be using the hip flexors. So if you're one of the people that do these sort of activities, this is probably a stretch that you're going to enjoy. Now, if you've got low back pain, you also should consider doing this stretch because the low back is it's really sensitive to extension. And sometimes when your hip flex is tight, you're forcing your back into extension every time you walk or run or do any other activity like that as well. So, let's go through how to do this stretch without compressing the low back and concentrating on feeling in the group of muscles that are known as your hip flexors. So the first starting point is to get down on one knee and have your other leg forward at least for balance and support. You're going to try to control what happens with your low back so you can focus on the stretch happening in the front of your leg. The first thing I always suggest you do is actually try to tilt your pelvis up at the front. That means you're going to contract through your stomach and bring your ribcage down to your pelvis and your pelvis up to your ribcage. The back leg, the one that's down, is the stretch area that we'll be feeling the stretching. We're going to contract the right glute and we're going to squeeze that as we're holding this up. Now that's going to stabilise my pelvis and it's going to force me to drive my pelvis forward a little bit. Now in this situation, I actually can feel the stretch already through the front of my leg. But watch what happens if I actually don't let my, uh, don't contract my stomach and I let my back bend and I don't squeeze my glute. I can be in the same situation and I can go forward like this and yet I'm only just starting to feel a stretch. Now what happens is when I do that and I let my stomach relax and my back uh, be relaxed as well, it actually bends in. And that's how you can create back pain and actually you're not getting much of the stretch through the hip flexors. So we're going to try to change that by controlling what happens and as I said, you're going to tilt your pelvis up, squeeze the glute and then drive yourself forward, hold for 5 or 10 seconds, relax off and repeat. That way you're going to get the stretch in the hip flexors and we're not going to be concerned about how far we get but just where we feel it. So I want you to try that out, give it a go, really concentrate on the steps and then see if we can get you moving better. Thanks.